Did you ever try? Not even dignifying that with a response, because I am lazy and because you're holding a big knife. Everything you do, we are. It's because you're afraid of failure. You think it's easier not to try than to try and end up failing. That should be your motto. You should focus more on your food and less on me. They're supposed to do that! They think they're so great because they can hang a chandelier. Well, they're gonna chandelier their pants when this comes crashing down. Okay. I just scorched the flower garden they planted. Let's see them grow that back overnight. Whoa, good job, honey. What are you doing? I just took this bolt out of the chandelier. When the kids go to clean it, boom! Brilliant, huh? No, crazy. I just scorched a few tulips. You're going to maim our children. It's a learning opportunity, Barb. Okay. Good morning. Final day of our bet. What's with the ladder? All right, I'll be honest with you. Your mom rigged the chandelier to make it fall so you'd look bad. <laughs> You are so grindy when we win this bet. You guys did win the bet. You've been running this house better than we have and making it look easy. Seriously, you made maple bacon and I almost dropped a light fixture on your head. I shouldn't be the boss of anything. Congratulations. Hear that, Billy? We're in charge now. Hank, Bob, clear out the master bedroom. We're starting a guinea pig farm. <laughs> Mom, Dad, wait. Billy, what are you doing? Sorry, Nora, but we don't deserve to be guinea pig farmers. The truth is, we tried to do the housework, but you were right. It was too hard. So we called some of your old friends from Metroburg to help us. Billy, no. Come on out, guys. Maid of honor. Handyman. Oh, the great ball. At least now we know it takes three superheroes to take care of the house. Four! <laughs> Iron Skillet made the trip, too? Up, up, and fillet! I missed you guys so much. You the most. Way to go, Billy. Sorry, but what we did was wrong. I'm just glad no one got hurt. We didn't get hurt. Billy, you found one! Oh, thank you so much. Sorry I'm late. I got lost inside the Great Mall of China. It's real? You're the one doing the project on China. You should know these things. <laughs> Ever. I wish we had a better one. Oh, right, we did. Oh, great. You and Max stole our idea. Thanks a lot. This is for you guys. Like I said, thanks a lot. <laughs> Look, I should have been in your group from the start. I messed up and I let you guys down. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks for saying something. To be honest, I missed you. <laughs> I want to be the head. No, I want you. I missed you so, so much. <laughs> Sabrina's top was made in China, as was Emma's shoes and my hair tie and my purse and my phone. Okay, that's enough. You girls get a seat. Yes, a seat. Daddy's getting me a new car. <laughs> Maybe next time try to go the extra mile like Sarah's group and their dragon. Next up, Phoebe and Max. Um, actually, Max isn't here yet. Well, as they say in China, tough noogies. Um, okay, so Max and I wanted to celebrate China by making egg rolls. Uh, don't worry, guys, they're, they're still good. Uh, in China, 
The five second rule is a 10 second rule due to the time difference. <laughs> We're getting an F, aren't we? Oh my gosh, fireworks! China's oldest traditions. Fireworks are used in celebration, but were originally used to scare off spirits and sisters who think they're better than their brothers. Max, you set off fireworks on school grounds? Baby and I did. As a group. <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Austin. I love it! That is exactly what we did. Max and I are in the same group, and this is our project. <laughs> well, what did the Chinese characters say? Be modest, Phoebe. It was Phoebe's idea to have the fireworks spill out. It's better to try and fail than not try at all. Yes! Yes! The Thundermans get an A! Nice job. Thanks. That was up all night twisting fuses and packing bootleg gunpowder. Well, it was worth it. Thank you. Now you can tell me what those characters really spell out. Oh, Phoebe smells like a wet donkey. Egg roll? Sure. George Clooney movie, Stand You Up. It was Serge, the candy delivery man. Sheesh, you pull a fail for a guy and he doesn't even take it back down? Been there, done that. Since Serge is not returning my calls, texts, or banging on his front door, I have decided to punish him by no longer ordering candy for the camp. Why do we all have to suffer just 